So in this example we're asking if 3,800 litres pass through a system in 38 seconds, what is the system's flow rate or discharge? So this question is concerned with probably the most fundamental parameter in fluid dynamics and hydraulics, which is the flow rate or the discharge. So the definition of the flow rate, Q, is volume per unit time and in SI units that would be meters cubed per second. So what this parameter is describing is how many meters cubed of fluid is going through the system in a given unit time. So it's telling us basically how much uh, volume of, of whatever fluid the system is running with is passing through per unit time. So if you turned on a tap and that tap was running at 10 litres per second, that means for every second that the system was running, 10 litres will be passing through it. So in this question we're told that 3,800 litres are passing through the system and they're passing through the system in 38 seconds. So, so to calculate the discharge or the flow rates, we're just going to take the volume that's gone through, so 3,800, divide it by the time that it's taken to go through, so 38 seconds. And what that gives us is a flow rate of 100 litres per second. So 3,800 litres going through the system in 38 seconds, that gives us a flow rate of 100 litres per second. Now if we want to get that into SI units of metres cubed per second, what we're going to need to do is convert that litres per second answer into metres cubed per second. So there's a thousand litres in a metre cubed, so if we take that answer, 100 litres per second, divide it by a thousand, then that gives us a final answer of 0.1 metres cubed per second, which is the flow rate or discharge of the system. So for every second that this system is running, 0.1 metres cubed is passing through it. And that is how we calculate the flow rate or the discharge of a system.